everyone. Welcome to Catherine's Creatures. This is episode 85, and this is a series where I get a touch base and talk a little bit about various mythological creatures, beast beings, and the like pulled from lore worldwide. I always like to preface by saying that I'm not a linguist, so if I mispronounce anything along the way, I apologize in advance. I, I do try. Um, today I'm actually going to be talking about an unusual creature. I can't remember, it almost makes me think of fae like but it's not a fae. Um, it's called a Tikoloshi and it comes from the Nguni mythology. I probably messed up that one. But this is part of the uh, Zulu traditional religion in Africa. It also, the Tikoloshi is also, um, pops up in various other African uh, mythos as well. But it is a kind of a water-based entity. Um, there are lots of different spellings, probably again due to the fact that there are various um, populations that believe in this creature. It uh, Tikoloshis are usually described as being dwarf-like, sometimes even covered in hair or very hairy. Um, and they are viewed as on the lighter side, mischievous, on the darker side, just pure evil um, spirits they become they can actually become invisible by either drinking water or swallowing a stone so i guess if you want to keep them in your sight keep them away from rocks and water um and as i kind of mentioned before they their mischievous nature can become malevolent and i think that's one of the reasons why in some lore they can be actually summoned by a person who wishes evil on others and the person summoning the tikoloshi the tikoloshi actually is kind of their vehicle of how to um, cause trouble for others and they send this uh, entity off to cause again mischief or misery to its victims they are on the more milder cases um used to scare children kind of like that boogeyman style i know a lot of lore utilizes some kind of boogeyman um, story or fable just to again keep kids doing what's right and um, staying in bed when they're supposed to and away from the water's edge and all the other kind of stories that utilize these kind of boogeyman like creatures to keep children in order but um, the Tikoloshi can also um, go as far as biting the toes off sleeping victims causing illness and of and even up to the fact of death to their again victims so uh, they can cause a lot of problems of various means they can be banished by a pastor um, who i guess knows how to expel this uh, creature from the area they also can be in some lore kept away at night by just simply adding a few bricks beneath each leg of one's bed and for some reason i don't know why i could not find the reasoning behind this but just by putting bricks under each leg of the bed um, the Tikoloshi will stay away from you and not cause you any problems while you sleep which is often when he comes and attacks victims it sounds like but I just wanted to touch base on this because I don't know there are it's just for me so fascinating how many um, entities from all around the world have very similar attributes and descriptions be it the Tikoloshi here in Africa um, to certain type of fae up in Scotland and Ireland and other unusual small particular entities that travel all over Europe and Asia and etc. So it is for me just something that I love when I learned about new mythological or creatures or entities like this one. And just, again, seeing the similarities um, of creatures um, that have developed in countries so far apart, uh, continents apart. And I don't know. I just think that's fascinating. Anyhow if, anywho, if you have any questions about this or anything else, post them in the comments below. Or just reach out to me on any of my social media. And until next time, everyone, skull.